happy new year happy new year rejoice that you made it rejoice you made it rejoice 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 can you say congratulations to the people on your right move to at least 20 percent and congratulate them say congratulations happy new year 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 thank you jesus hallelujah in jesus mighty name we have rejoiced you know it's great joy we all made it into the new year and i declare that the lord who has kept you and has brought you into this year would also cause you to see the end of the year 2024 in the name of jesus the year 2024 will not see your hand you will not hand in the mortuary you will not end in the graveyard you will not end in the hospital bed in the name of jesus hallelujah as i said earlier we're starting our you know based on divine instruction our prayer and our praying together as a church um so we'll be starting via the church whatsapp group if you're not on the church whatsapp group please speak to any of the ministers so they can add you to the group and speak to bro shufoluwe speak to uh pastor sam speak to pastor paul um speak to bro um Abiodun, you know they can add you to the group praise the living jesus all right god's prophetic word for us in house of grace assembly for the year 2024 we thank god for how god has kept us you know in the just concluded year and um, we being able to see the year 2024 is a testament of god's faithfulness and it says that my loving kindness would not depart from your household um, so we give god all glory for the confirmation of his words because it's not by our power it's not by our might but it's by the mercies of the lord so what is god saying to us for the year 2024 in house of grace assembly i want you to pen this down and go back and check what god is saying and it helps you to navigate through the year as you receive god's word continually through the year and walk in the course of what god has gone ahead of us to do the first thing god said and i received this for myself i received this for myself god said it will be a season of fresh breath it would be a season of fresh breath fresh breath fresh breath i was praying and the lord opened my eyes in the vision of prayer while i was praying in a place of prayer and in that vision of the lord i saw a strong wind and when i saw a strong wind i traveled in the spirit and i saw a scripture playing out ezekiel chapter 37 and as i saw the strong wind coming over things that looked like graveyards and i saw the bones coming together fitting together and becoming a new and excellent being becoming a mighty host they came together and god said to me he said in the year 2024 there would be a strong wind of ease there would be a strong wind of you know of fresh breath that when that breath would come upon people everything that seems dead or have been tagged to die will come back to life in better shape and greater forms so i received that on behalf of the whole house 
and also on behalf of myself, that in the year 2024, the first thing God said to us, he said it would be a season of fresh breath. You would see, you would feel it. You would feel it. it, it I mean, Lebras Kofa. You will feel like a breeze blowing through. God will blow through. It will blow. It will blow. It will brood over your life. And it will cause everything that seems to be dying or seems to have died to resurrect in the name of Jesus. The next thing God said to me, He said, The year will be marked by diverse storms and scandals. It says it would be a year that will be marked by diverse storms and scandals, but you would experience the sure anchor of God. There would be, we would see things playing out, conspiracies, lies, we would see things playing out, people trying to, you know, I mean, you must be very watchful when the seasons are playing out. It says, you will hold your peace and I will fight for you. So it would be a year where God will be the major force in your life, where God will fight for you, where you hold your peace. So all you need to do is to hold on to Jesus because it says that you would experience the sure anchor of God. It will be a year that is marked with diverse storms and scandals, but you would experience the sure hanker of God. That becomes your portion in the name of Jesus. The third thing God said to me, God said, it is a year of watchmen. It is a year of watchmen. The Bible was saying in the book of Abacoc, Chapter 2, he says, And I will sit upon my watch, and I would hear, and I would see. So it would be a year of watchmen who would hear, who would know, who would see and do. It would be a year of watchmen who would hear, who would know, who would see, and who would do. The year of the watchmen. The fourth thing God said, it says it's going to be a year of hard work and diligent service. Why? It says because the agency of darkness will recruit more. But we must arise like Elijah and Deborah. It's going to be a year of hard work and diligent service. The agency of darkness will recruit more. But we must arise like Elijah and Deborah. There's going to be the spirit of Elijah being released upon men. There would be the spirit of Deborah released upon men. So in this year, there would be agitations in the spirit realm between the forces of darkness and between the forces of light. You need to choose what camp you belong to. So choose rightly. And I pray God will help us in the name of Jesus. The fifth thing God said, He said, it's going to be a year of exemption and exclusion. There's going to be a mark of distinction in all your ex endeavors. A year of exemption and exclusion. There would be a mark of distinction in all your endeavors and the sixth thing God said he said it's going to be a year of speedy restoration and speedy exposure of dark works a year of speedy restoration and speedy exposure of dark works he said many will be compensated so doers of good works will be compensated. Doers of bad works will be compensated. One thing is sure, there will be a compensation. 
So a year of speedy recover of speedy restoration and speedy exposure of dark works. Many will be compensated. You know, uh, I was praying sometimes this week, and the Lord said, "It is the year." <laughs> you know, when you say something, when you say the D day, it means it is the day, right? So the year twenty twenty four for someone and for me is going to be the year where you would say that was the year. It is the year where your story will change, where your life would receive meaning and direction. Finally, our theme for the year 2024 in House of Grace Assembly, which is the last one, number seven, is the year of recompense and reward. The year of recompense and reward. The year of recompense and the year of reward. Our scriptures that we read, Genesis chapter 15 verse 1, I am thy sheet and thy exceeding great reward. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 10, God saying to us there, I am thy recompense and thy reward. Isaiah chapter 62 verse 11, God saying, I am thy recompense and thy reward. It is your year of recompense, your year of reward. It will be a year where you are going to be paid back every of your entitlements. Everything, your allocations will be delivered in the year 2024. By the time we are done with the year, it will be a testament of nothing missing and nothing broken that shall be your testimony so can you rejoice can you walk to seven persons and say to them 2024 is my year of recompense and my year of reward 2024 my year of recompense and reward my year of recompense and reward my year of recompense and reward. My year of recompense and reward. My year of recompense and reward. Finally, my year of recompense and reward. Congratulations. Congratulations. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I love you. I love you. I bring you greetings from my family. In this new year, we would all rejoice and celebrate in the name of Jesus. So see you to get see you all by 6 a.m. today as we pray and give God thanks in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shalom, shalom, shalom. God bless you. I love you.